Hi, my name is Suzanne Grimaud. I'm a lifestyle blogger with MyChoicesMatter.com, and I love technology. I think it's real important to make it work for me so that I can work smarter, not harder. And I've taught myself a few um, little skills that's available to everyone, but everyone keeps asking me to teach them. So I thought I would show you real quickly how to create a Google form and use the information that you can collect with that to automatically fill in a spreadsheet so it will make your life easier. So I um, can show you there are many forms. This is in my account so you can see that I actually use what I'm teaching quite a bit and I have for a number of years. Um, a little example I'm going to show you on the last video that I did I showed you how to create a QR form, I'm sorry, a QR code that led to a weekly drawing that I do on my website, which is mychoicesmatter.com. And so I'm going to show you what that form was just to be consistent. And you can go from one thing or the other. So here's the form that I created. And when someone um, uses the QR code that I showed or they use the link that this form can be um, sent with let me show you you can hit send and just go there right now so with the form you can email this is through Google Drive after you've created the form which I'm going to show you how to do you can um, email it you can also send it directly to Google Plus or Facebook or you can tweet the form it'll send the link or you can just click this little link button there it's got a long link you can shorten it and then you can copy that and um, type it out on things text it to people um, post it wherever you like and it'll make it real easy so that people can use their mobile devices to enter information that you want to collect and keep it super simple. So if you can embrace that technology that people are using already anyway, it will make your life easier because what you will do is, and I'm not going to click this because I don't want to share personal information, but um, what you can do is when people fill out the form, it's going to give the responses and then you can click a little Excel looking icon and create an Excel spreadsheet and the form responses that people give you by filling out this form online is going to automatically fill in that Excel spreadsheet. And so it makes it really easy for you to collect the data and not have to retype. So all I did is I created this form here. These are the questions. I'm just collecting information on what people want. I was able to even put my own information in there. And, um, and then I've sent it out. So that's pretty cool. I want to show you how to do this. So I'm going to back it up. Oops. Okay. There we go. And you can choose a template if you want to do that, or you can make your own. So there's all kinds of things you can do with this. And this is just showing you just all kinds of different templates that are already created within Google Drive for you. And it's under the form section. So um, you, you know, the it's endless what you can do with this. You can read this and look through this yourself. So this is pretty cool. So how do you do it? I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to assume that um, you're just going to start from fresh and you don't know how to find these templates. If you have a Google account, um, and if you don't, then I say Google account like a Gmail account, that will enable your rights to use these tools. So even if you're not going to use the Gmail account for your email, go get the Gmail account because it's free and it will allow you to use all these awesome tools and they can be found right up here. And you see this little um, tic-tac-toe or little 
I don't know what you call it, but all those little dots. So when you click on it, it's going to show you all kinds of tools that Google has for you, and they all integrate and work together. So it's, it's very nice. So Drive, that's what we're going to do, and you can actually get an app on your smartphone or your tablet and do this directly from there. And then they talk to each other. When you do one on one event, on one um, device, it's on the other. So I'm going to go create a new form. And I'm going to go down here. You're going to see Docs. That, that's like Word. Sheets is like Excel. Slides is like PowerPoint. And I'm going to click on More because I want a form. So when you do that, all you have to do is create um, Teach how to do Google Forms, whatever you want to call it. And it shows untitled form, but if you click on it, it'll take what you just did, make that your title, or you can change it. Then you can tell people, um, fill in the form and hit submit at the bottom. Whatever you want to put. I always tell people to hit submit at the bottom because sometimes they forget. Then you just click on the question, and the first question is always your name, and I always make it required, because sometimes I have forgotten. Well, there's not a multiple choice. You're not gonna have everybody's name, so you're gonna change that to short answer. And then you want another question. So you hit this, and I almost always say phone number and then email. I want something where I can communicate with the people and then I ask the questions. So we have a fundraiser at our church going on right now. And the youth are and their parents are signing up to take shifts and to donate food for this big event. So I did this form last week and I asked questions and got the URL, created a QR code, put it on a paper, had a parent and teen meeting at church handed it all to them, told them all to get their phone out right then on the spot and scan or type in the URL and fill out the information. And I collected information from 30 people, which was automatically filled into my spreadsheet. And I could sort and do my job a lot quicker and get everybody on board because they were all curious about it and it made it fun. So um, that's what I did. So you can do the same thing whatever questions you want to collect. Um, I'll just put here, um, pick one. <laughs> so this is multiple choice and then you can put your options or you can do check boxes and they can pick more. You can go through these and play around with them and see what they do. I'll let you do that yourself, but um, pick one. Yes. Add another option. No. Um, how about maybe, and then we'll go with other. Okay. So this just gives you the idea. So I'm going to make that required as well. And if it's the same question, you want to copy it, hit copy. I'm not going to get into more on this other than to tell you where to find the buttons. You can click up here and change the color palette, add a picture. You can do all kinds of things. If you hit this little um, eyeball, that's just going to show you what the form's going to look like, the live form. And so that's very useful because you want to always check it out. And then the settings, this is where I always come over here. And instead of leaving the setting it gives, where it's your response has been recorded, I will personalize it. Thank you for... Um, telling me your choice, whatever you want to say. Um, and then I usually use this as another opportunity to, br to bring them back to me. Um, here we go. Your choices matter. Uh, read my blog at www.mychoicesmatter.com. Yep, there you go. You can even put your name. Sam Grimaud, author, speaker, blogger, entrepreneur. 
I put it all. My husband and I are in Precision Tune, and I also run an online business with It Works Global, and it's all on mychoicesmatter.com. You can go find it there. But um, anyway, bring them back to you, okay? And then you can change this if you want to let them edit their response. Um, submit another response if you want to do that. You can, you can tailor this however you want, and you just hit save, okay? So now that we've done that, your next thing you're going to do is hit responses. This is where, even though nobody has responded yet, this is where you're going to create your Excel spreadsheet. So when you hit on responses and they respond, it's going to show graphs down here and all their information with everyone else, like in graph forms on each question. So you can do that. But if you want individual responses on an Excel, you just click on this create spreadsheet. And if you already have one, you can select it. And if not, you can create a new one. And then what it's going to do is create the spreadsheet. And what you ask, is it going to be already titled at the top? And as people fill in the form, it will automatically fill in the spreadsheet and even give you the timestamp so you know the date and time that they did it. And then you can even go up here to form, go to live form, and see what that looks like. It's very cool. This is not identical to Excel, but close. But what you can do once you have all the information you need is hit File, Download as Excel to your desktop, and then you can use it to sort and stuff. The other thing that you can do is maybe you are collaborating with someone and you need them to see the responses that you've collected like the fundraiser I'm doing. I have four coordinators that are working on this with me. So I created the form, people fill it in, and I need my coordinators to see it so that they can get the information and I can um, make my job as head coordinator easier by sending them to this form. So I can take this form after I've got it and I can hit share and I can email the people that I want to have access to this, or I can get a shareable link and I can let them edit, comment, or view. So um, it really does give you some awesome, awesome opportunities. If you are doing the form, let's go back to questions. So here's what I created, but I want this here, this send. I'm going to go get the short link. I'm going to copy it and now I'm going to go to my QR code generator and I'm going to paste. I'm going to create it and um, I'm actually going to not do that because I've already done it and it will be another step but you can add a logo if you want. I just don't want to have to do that extra step because it's saved somewhere else. I'm going to hit download. I showed how to create a, gen a, a QR code in my last video and so you just go Google search one and this is one that I've done here. I'm going to hit save QR code and it's brought it up here to my wall into my desktop. It's got quite a bit <laughs> and then you can open it and there it is, and you can scan it, and you can get to the form. I've got several here, so I'm not sure if I grabbed the right one, but um, if you register with it to do logos, you can see uh, this is the one I did for our youth group for their fundraiser, and I put their youth group logo in the center of it, so that made for a very nice little piece. But Okay, I hope that helps. Um, Google Forms are the way to go and can make your life easier so i hope that you'll enjoy what you've learned okay thank you check out my other videos and find me on mychoicesmatter.com because your choices matter too